Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron, and today we're playing some Black Ops 1. And really what this video is for today is just something for you to watch while you download the brand new Mac pack for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I believe it's called Awakening. Der Isendrac, that's what I want to get out of it. And I think that's what most of you want out of it too. I know there's a, there's a lot of multiplayer players here, but... I would have to say there are a ton of zombie players here too, and I personally cannot wait for Der Isendrag. So this video right here is just while you're downloading the game, you're getting ready to play, you don't know what to do with yourself, so you just came to my YouTube channel and started watching. So hopefully if everything went as planned, I already had one video today, and I won't spoil it because I don't know if it's going to be there, but if it's there, you know it's there. Make sure to check it out, but definitely after this video, sometime later on today, I will have even more gameplay for you guys. I plan to have quite a bit of videos out today, and like I said, this is just for as you're downloading your map pack, you're waiting to play, you get on YouTube, and you're watching this video. So, let's talk about something to pass the time, and let's talk about Black Ops 1, what I consider the greatest Call of Duty ever made possibly could you give it that name I give it that name best Call of Duty ever for more reasons than not I, I think the multiplayer is the best multiplayer ever I think the maps are the greatest maps ever I think the DLC was the best ever also with multiplayer and zombies it just kept getting better you know what I mean they didn't downgrade like they did in Black Ops 2 you know they gave us some stuff and then they downgraded. And I think in Black Ops 3, we're not downgrading. And that's a good thing. We're going up. They're trying to make that DLC season be phenomenal. And I do think, from Der Isendrag, I haven't got to play it yet. Well, at the time you're viewing this video, I probably will have played it just a little bit. But I think they're trying to do something special with this game because... They're going to have a three-year break between the next one. I mean, the difference between Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 was one game. Modern Warfare 3. The difference between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 were two games. And it's going to keep going like that. There's going to be two games in between the two zombies. And they got to leave on a bang. they got to make you want more. they got to... Keep that brand loyalty. Make you want to crave zombies and still play zombies. So it's very important that they make the best zombies experience. And I, I would say multiplayer too. But I mean really. I would almost go ahead and guarantee that games from the past. World at War. Definitely. 100%. I, we're not even going to talk about World at War. It's not fair. But let's talk about Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2. Those two games, other than Black Ops 2, I would say just Black Ops 1, primarily is played for the zombies. I mean, it's so good, and I would say multiplayer, like, people would def- I mean, right now, guys, not whenever it came out. Obviously, it was, it was a little bit of both. But, right now, because, you know, there's not too much of a online community, you can't just go in and get matched again, most people are playing zombies- and, you know, I, that could be wrong. That could just be me. But I do know World of War for sure. There's more people playing zombies on World of War right now than probably ever. I think World of War got the most amount of money two years after they were already released. So, that's just what I want to talk about. It was just a little bit about this game. Five, I'm not too great at this map. But then again, I don't know anyone that is too great at this map. Uh, Simple Round 30, we did this little ray gun strategy. I got a cool video coming out very soon. Uh, I'm not going to ruin that yet either. It's probably not going to be this week. Mainly all Der Isendrak. And if you've made it this far, I always like to have a little challenge at the end of the video just to see how many of you guys, how many of the true fans, the day in and day outs that's been here since day one watches the entire video. So if you've made it to that point, listen up. I have a challenge for you. I want you to tell me down below what kind of challenges you want uh, me and my friends to do in zombies. Like, you know, hard challenges, first rooms, Sally's in the alley, make up our own thing. Just tell us what you want us to do. Enter Ice and Drag, not Shadows of Evil. 
Dryson track, and we'll try to do it. So that's your challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Aaron. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.